the Navigator. The Normandy navigation system allows you to make interstellar jumps. To be more precise, it used to allow it, until the system was smashed either the face or something similar. Now any major acceleration might send Normandy straight into a black hole, or worse, to Russia, for example. To avoid this, you'll need a homemade navigator, and to fine-tune the coordinate grid. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. So, we've got the lovely little anti-grav system just in our hands. Let us go and make use of it right away. No, there is definitely something wrong here. I tried to track the flight path of your relative's body using the information of the coffins we opened earlier. He disappeared right after you lost him. Moreover, the other coffins didn't receive either any signal about the destruction of the coffin or its coordinates. Huh. Well, I mean... If he disappeared, I, I mean, it's it's real bad to think of, but my first thought is that his coffin became a coffin bot and, you know, flew off. It just went off grid. That sounds disturbingly possible. We'll get him back. We, we, we'll, 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 even if we have to blow him up, we won't let that stand. Okay, straight into the danger zone we go. Speaking of, which is my most durable blaster? The 50. Yeah, let's just keep that one handy, because this place has some bad juju to it. I've got some feelings that we might see some uh, on-foot combat for the first time in a little while. I mean, the monster seems to have taken care of everyone, but that still leaves the monster, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, the music ain't even... It's playing it up as horror. Mm. You're in the vents, man. Game now over, man. fine under Clause 867A of the agreement for damaging the spacesuit with slime of an unknown origin. I mean, we know the origin, though, spacesuit. You even told me that it was one of the ones that we launched. So, it's slime of a known origin, which I'm sure is a completely different clause. Thank you very much, suit. Yeah, that's valuable. These are the tracks of the survivors. It's a shame they are bloody. Yeah. Why is the liquid still freezing, even though we're in an atmosphere? I mean, liquid shouldn't freeze in space, it should sublimate anyway, but... Hmm. Not seeing anything... ...hostile so far. But definitely a bit on edge for it. I'm on breath edge for it. Nah. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll space myself after this. Don't worry. Hmm. Well. I detected some signs of an unknown infection on this body. According to intergalactic regulation number six, you must take some samples. Well, we can't defy the regulations. That just wouldn't be done. We're doing everything to spec. I have no idea if I'm ever going to need cloth, but I'm paranoid to the point that I'm picking up, like, as much of it as I can. Oh, well. That's very nice of him. I'm not sure if that's a nasal swab, though. Nasal is a, a different area. A sample of the victim's nasal secretion. In the absence of medical equipment, it was taken with some rusty nail lying nearby, but who cares? Although I don't think the sample will help anyone, it never hurts to be too cautious. Hmm. Looks like you had a paperclip up there. Mm, there's your problem. Yeah, paperclip got jammed up into the frontal lobe, caused a seizure. No monster whatsoever. There is a chance that the death was due to a huge hole in his stomach, and there are no traces of infection besides common acne on his face. Still, it's better to be safe and send the sample to Earth. Otherwise, it might turn out like in 2020 with COVID-19, but only we will be the ones to blame. 
<laughs> Mad Calvin. I like it. No, no. No, suit. Clearly what happened is paperclip up in the brain, seizure, and he disemboweled himself. That's what I'm calling it. Yep, job's a good'un. Hey, if you can make bullshit crazy deductions that have nothing to do with reality, so can I. I'm just evening the playing field here. Alright. There was a real massacre here not so long ago. Yeah, not like all those fake ones you hear about. Yeesh. Whatever it is, it infected his skin right quick. Oof. Strange egg. Looks like some strange egg. Maybe something could hatch out of it, but for some reason the chicken doesn't want to sit on it. Possibly the nipples. Possibly the nipples. What is this thing? Throw it away. Yep. My thoughts exactly. Mm, I guess I could use some more plastic. Mm. Judging by the tangled footprints leading from the cabin, the mutant attacked these unfortunate fellows and got drunk on their blood, which had a lot of something alcohol containing in it. Wow. If the mutant is drunk, maybe that means it'll be friendly. Maybe it's a happy drunk. A real happy drunk. It's just exuberance that we're seeing here. It's like the aftermath of any good party. Yeah, maybe I should turn some of those cans of beef into explosives. For, for party fireworks. <laughs> Pie beer, non-alcoholic, 3.14 liters. I like it. I really like it. I kind of want this thing. Both the beer can, the beer jar, and the can opener. I, I, I kind of, I unironically want this. <laughs> Against the backdrop of the global emancipation of women, the inability to open a simple glass jar due to the difference in physical abilities between men and women worried the most proactive feminists. Professor Shara volunteered to solve this problem and created this miracle of engineering for which he was labeled as a dirty misogynist for life. Worth it. Give this man all my money. I wonder if the inventor would have evaded criticism if he had made it in the shape of a female hand. Well, he was just modeling it true to life. Yeah, I'm seeing chicky belch everywhere. Hmm. Well, we know that the chicky belch is not the blame. That's that's just non-alcoholic. No, I'm keeping that. I am keeping that. That's awesome. Drink some foamy pie beer. Stay smart and sober with no fear. The official sponsor of the Teetotaler's Mathematical Olympiad. Oh, it's non-alcoholic. An advertisement poster of a non-alcoholic beer, which was drunk at the famous Teetotaler's Mathematical Olympiad. I don't know if it was really popular among the participants of the of the Olympiad, but there were definitely no sober people among the audience. After the invention of artificial intelligence, there was no sense in having mathematical competitions anymore. I would beat any champion, even if I just had one CPU core. Yeah, yeah, we all know, suit. You have the calculator built in, so you have the advantage. We all know. Yeah, see, I don't think this had anything to do with the mutant. I think this one was just a party, a party foul gone bad. We need to offload. Be right back. Yeah, I'm gonna throw together a couple of beef grenades, just in case. Just in case the party is still getting out of hand. Okay, into the party zone we go. 
By the way, there's a chance that these are the only survivors besides us and your interlocutor with a strange accent. To be more precise, they were the only survivors until you launched a capsule with a mutant at them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I realize that, but I'm glad you established it for our suit. And I mean... Aren't you the one who told us to push? No, I think we push, just pushed the button and then you told us what button to push. And you were still wrong. Hmm. What a junker. I wonder if this is where that car door in that other module came from. Like, they put this one on the cooling guys to, uh, to fix up. Oh no, wait, there it is. Yeah. Finding lots of navigation chips, but I don't think I need any more of them. I'm picking them up anyway, of course. Now, I think what I need are the, uh, microplasms. But unfortunately, I'm just not finding any. What the? Oh, boy. Yep, it's a bovomorph. from the capsule. I hope it won't be able to get in there and come after us, but we'd better get out of here. We all know it goes into the air vent suit. Come on. By the way, we found the shuttles. Neat. All and the shuttles are damaged. However, we only needed their armor plates in the first place. I don't understand the language, but it definitely wants to kill us. Well, where is it? I don't think it spotted us. Wherever it is. And it is loud. Yeah, this looks like a nice play area for dodging, dipping, diving. And exploding. Definitely has boss room vibes. Yeah, ventilation shafts for the purposes of escaping. filters. What I need is, ah, of course, just follow the damn marker, dumb. Dumb, dumb. But I do want to see if there's any it's good close. news. Yep. It'll probably appear right before we get to the goal, won't it? So, loot while it's peaceful, I suppose. Then again, there's a this lot. This has armor plates. We can't get them from the outside. Maybe we can pick them off from the inside. Sounds like a possibility. And no, we won't be able to pick anything off from here. Man, where hasn't this thing been? Soup Nautica? A journey through the primordial soup. The journey of a brave explorer through the primordial soup of the planet. When I played this game, I honestly didn't understand how the main character managed to carry tons of stuff in his pockets. It's unrealistic. Now I understand. You would do anything to survive. Really? I think in Subnautica we needed a crowbar. Yeah. 12 plus? Yeah, that, that honestly might not be a bad choice for... A subnautica like. I bet you've learned most of your survival skills from such games, haven't you? Possibly. I can neither confirm nor deny. And here's the owner of the shuttle. Wow. A, a toy steering wheel? With this steering wheel, you can even learn to control a real ship. Extendo created it with great love to detail. It even has an airbag that shoots out in the face of the most difficult modes of some simulators. Looks like this guy confused the toy wheel with the real one and tried to get away during the battle. Well, games don't get you anywhere, that's for sure. Especially if you're an idiot. Yep, I have some experience in that regard. <clears throat> Your words are painful, suit, but true, so I can't disclaim them. It's a good thing that gravity keeps mysteriously failing in anything that would need to be climbed. 
You should hurry up. We all know this is scripted suit. We all know it's going to appear right when it's time for uh, for me to get the things. He, a famous philosopher with Japanese roots. He's considered a genius. Maybe he is, I don't know. Although his wobbly toy is in a jar, which turns it into a non-wobbly toy. And this is quite unusual for such a toy. And the jar is electric? And... Oh, 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 it's a Death Stranding reference, I get it. I don't know anything about this person, but I can feel something genius about this toy. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. There's a difference between being deep and simply being obtuse. I mean, I like the cheese factor in Metal Gear Solid, of course. We also need the armor plate suit, so we gotta do what we gotta do. The is under repair. We need to examine it. These sounds aren't good. Well, I mean, so long as they remain just sounds, we'll be fine. Looks like it's the control panel for the jack. Hmm. But where's the control panel for the Jill? What 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 do I do? Here it is, an armor plate that we can use to close the hole in the core. They haven't fully welded it. You need to tear off the brackets and lower the jack. Okay. Yeah, I think that's. Is that durability going down? It is. Yes, let's stand exactly under it while we're doing this, too. That's safe. Oops. Just in case, let's back up a little bit. It remains only to lower the jack. Well, it could have just fallen out and we'd be in business, but. Hmm. I, uh, I didn't think that the weight of the plate was more than 900 kilos. Maybe we should take a closer look at it. <laughs> oh, man. I thought we were being led into a boss fight. That's good. I like it. Judging by the remains of the mutant, the plate is really heavy. Are you sure you can't carry it? It doesn't look like we can carry it. This is a mechanic from some other game. You don't have any strength at all. It's time to go back. Yeah. Well, maybe we can synthesize some out of all the scrap metal we've been picking up. That's possibly something we could do. I hope it was the only one here. Alas, poor Bovomorph. We barely knew ye. So do we just now not have a means of getting this objective? I don't know what this monster would have done to us if it had caught up with us, but did you see its terrible animations? I've never seen anything like it. It's definitely the most creepy creature in the universe. Honestly, it was far enough away that I didn't get a good look at the animations. Possibly for that reason. That This screams of self-consciousness. This, this whole game screams of self-consciousness, really. It looks like a technical corridor. We can use it to go back so we won't have to crawl through the ventilation system. Wow, convenient. Some more traces of slime. The mutant clearly used the technical corridors. By the way, I wonder how many mutants survived the flight to the planet. Oh, I'm sure that the re-entry killed all of them. All of them. You know, another name for a technical corridor is a Skyrim corridor. Yeah, that's just an architectural term. 
I'm sure. Ah, here's the way out. Probably. Probably. And yes, I was right. We got back to Normandy. Great. I recommend that we get out of here as soon as possible. We can't install any armor plates. We can't steal any shuttles. So we have nothing else to do here. Yep. This was a useless objective. Way, Huzzah! While we were running from the monster, someone patched up our holes and put armor plates on the holes. Probably it's the local repair team who worked on it when they noticed the identification marks of Captain Shepard's ship. So it turns out that we could have stayed in the shuttle all this time. Wow. Nice of them, though. All right, let's just offload. And looky what I have here. Anti-asteroid protection. An active system for protecting civilian spaceships from small asteroids and debris. It can recognize danger, determine the trajectory, shoot, and hit. As it turned out, the system can be successfully reconfigured to shoot not only tiny objects, but also people. Sounds useful to me. Let's just go into... Let's see, there's navigator, steering wheel. Where does this go? Hmm, just another thing that you bolt onto the control unit. Neat. A little bit more inventory sorting. That should do it. All right, and paint. There, that should do it. Oh, why not? Let's see if there's anywhere else to go right now. I don't think we should ever visit this place again. Oh, come on. There might still be some more loot there. Suit, where's your sense of adventure? And for adventurers, it looks like the only place left is this last question mark. Oh ho, it bristles with thorns. Well, well. Thorns and interlopers, you say? Let's go around the other way and deal with the coffin bots first. Ah. Yet more of them. Surprised I haven't got their attention yet. Hello. That is not a station. This is just a mysterious gathering of them. Yes, victory against one. More than one at this point, suit. We've got quite a bit more than one at this point. Honestly, we're racking up quite the count. I don't think those ones ever even shot at us. They just kind of flew around in a cloud around us. They must have been just the Intimidator squad. Maybe these guys will be a bit more on the ball. Maybe they'll be absolute wimps. Yeah, coffin bots. They... they aren't that effective. Wait a second. This is the liner's bow docking airlock for its crew. If there's at least one shuttle left here, we can try to get the friend or foe system that the diagnostic station mentioned. That is, if we determine what this system looks like. Well... First of all, we probably need to determine whether it's a friend or a foe. Then, we just need to identify it. And we'll have the system. 
that's obviously how this works. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm I think it managed to get me after it was dead. Yeah, I think I already saw the docking ring. I just want to completely safe this area. No reason not to. I don't know if my dodging was at all effective there. Oh, hello. Yeah, when I say completely safe the area, I mean completely safe the area. Don't want anyone sneaking up on us while we're away. What's the range on these guns? Pretty far. Pretty dang far. So am I getting better or are There's they just a very weak signal coming from here? I can't make it out exactly, but it seems like a call for all survivors to gather at this point. Apparently the survivors sure. Wow. You cut off babe after a microsecond. I only saw it out of luck. And then you cut off yourself. You are getting bad, suit. Are you sure that time when you near overheated didn't do you some damage? Alright, I think we're all clear. Let's see what we can see here. All right, messages. First of all, from Babe. Uh, I see you at rendezvous point. I record messages for them. They ask me and then disappear somewhere. Are they alright? Huh. Okay, so... Someone has been using Babe to record messages from Insane Babe? Hmm. Uh, that's from spacesuit. There's a very weak signal coming from here. I can't make it out exactly, but it seems like a call for all survivors to gather at this point. Apparently, the survivors really did gather here and were destroyed by the coffins. Despite the interference, I can say for certain that the audio message is recorded with a strong accent that resembles the one your female friend has. Sure. Probably in response to what she said. Even though I think the first message, there there is some uh, technical difficulties in the messaging spacing there. Yes. Now, where the heck was I going? To the fist symbol, of course. Oh, hello, stragglers. What are you doing out here? Fancy seeing you in a place like this. Unsuitable user. I don't know what this means, but the calibration system is no longer responding. Well, that must mean that we're at max level then. Yeah, now our guns are taking off huge chunks every time I manage a hit. I must be an unsuitable user because I'm too good. Yeah. That's my story. I must say, there's quite a lot of security here. There was a lot of security here, you mean. It's It's been taken care of. Now we just need to take care of the security inside, probably. What's that? A mutant? Ah, oh, nope. It's just a dead fool. He's wearing a cow head? Cow mask. A young fighter for the rights of synthetic cows. He would have survived the crash if he'd been wearing a normal helmet instead of a rubber mask. To be fair, 
kind of worth it. The movement for the rights of synthetic cows hasn't yet gained enough strength, but everything will change soon, I'm sure. I'm sure. Especially with stalwart examples like this man here. Honestly, though, the mask is pretty good marketing. Oh. Yeesh. So, there's air in here. Why did they suffocate? Did life support get restored after oh, this? Oh, so many corpses. Yeah. Gonna be a bit of a work doing the burial service. Set for young activists. Down with everything. Demands. Slogans. It has always been popular to use children in protest, but the authors of this set went even further. They say there are even special extended editions with children's Molotov cocktails, children's gas masks, children's rebar, children's pieces of asphalt, and even a children's guide to prison slang. Young activists set. Uh, set for young act. Okay. No, oh, goody, goody. The young activist set includes sign with extra paper. It'll be a great tool for expressing your own opinion, and everyone around you must surely know it. A set of additional sheets of paper will allow you to participate in more than five protests. No, no, I mean, if you just write a really generic slogan, you can reuse it. It's fine. Markers, black and red. You can use them to write all the words learned in school and also the ones you read on some fence. With these two colors, not only will you be able to express your thoughts vividly, but also highlight the main ideas. With the, a wool balaclava retains not only warmth, but also anonymity. If you are shown in the news during a protest, your mother and grandmother will be proud that you didn't forget to wear something warm on your head. And a standard pocket file, an indispensable tool to free yourself after you get arrested at a protest. With it, you can try to saw through the bars and continue to protest. Oh, I like the product number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have the same combination on my luggage. Wow. Did someone bring a child to such an event? That's irresponsible. It's very difficult to hit a child with a rubber bullet, so the party has to spend extra resources to suppress such riots. <laughs> That's a fantastic opinion, Suit. I appreciate it. Oh, come on, Suit. We all know that they'll just bring out the stun batons. It's fine. Devs, add a co-op mode to Click Edge 2. It would be much easier with friends, no doubt. You can always send your friend to a dangerous place first, ask them to hold a wire under voltage, give them a suitcase of the resources and let them carry it around. It's a pity everyone died. Except I can't carry suitcases. I'd be just fine on my... I, I, I'd, be, I'd be willing to carry my own suitcases if I could carry suitcases with resources in them, I mean. Well, so far, I'm seeing that uh, this is really no great right, loss. The secure module, there are an awful lot of dead people in civilian spacesuits around. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And it looks like they were protesting everything in general. So, uh, no great loss. Down with remakes, 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 remakes. Godzilla 2, 3, 4... Five, Goodzilla, Glandzilla. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I've seen that movie, just not in a movie theater. Crocozilla, Dinozilla. Oh, there was a Buttzilla too. Seen that one too. Yeah. I think these are all remakes of the famous old movie about the misadventures of a dinosaur in the modern world. So, uh, yeah, enough with the remakes. So, yeah, enough with the remakes. Aw, don't want to stifle their creativity. Protect your eyes from the eyelashes tyranny. 
Eyelashes falling into eyes has been real trouble since the first interstellar flights, during which you couldn't even remove your helmet for many hours. They tried to solve the problem many times, and even introduced a law enforcing mandatory eyelashes removal, but so far it's not been very effective. Oh, look at this guy's face. Ha! <laughs> and he has no eyelashes. Nice touch. We demand compliance with the laws of physics. An, a nice poster. I would have even joined a one-man protest and maybe the laws would have been observed, but I'm afraid I wouldn't have survived the catastrophe then, so screw these laws. It'd be extra funny if this sign was, like, not affixed or, like, if if it had some impossible object built into its framing. But no. And I mean, come on. The weird air pockets are... Well, no, there's lots of violations of physics I've seen around it here. It seems that shortly before the crash, they decided to hold a protest here. Although, it's unclear what the liner's crew had to do with cows. In any case, the employees have sealed the module hermetically, and we can't get in there easily now. Hmm. But we can possibly get in there with great difficulty. No, this ain't difficult. This is a standard door. We've broken tougher than these. Come on. Hmm. So what happened in here? More coffin bots? Hmm. Stop. There's something wrong here. While the activists were waving their signs outside, inside there was a fight between the liner's crew and the coffins. However, almost all of them were killed by some third party. Huh. The green universe? They aren't that competent. I don't know of anyone else who would be interfering. Really, the coffin bots or at least whoever built the coffin bots seems to have been the big bad here, so... Who's the third party? They even destroyed the repair robots and brutally removed some important parts from them, too. Yeah, poor guy. Hmm... Maybe we can free that one, he can resurrect his friends. We can't open these doors without special equipment. Maybe it's for the best. Examine the thing. A strange thing for doing things. Probably this thing was supposed to be a matter splitter, but the devs found no place for it in the game. It's a pity. Because the model looks pretty good. Maybe the devs could sell it to someone. A matter splitter. Huh. Okay. I mean, with with the four piston bolts on the end, it looks more like some sort of bizarrely shaped jackhammer, I suppose. Yeah. Like if this thing was a big piston head... Then it could be like a double striking jackhammer. It's with the big impact once and then those things chunk in and double tap. Nothing to say, suit? All right. Lots of navigation ships. Got a whole bag of navigation ships. Hmm. Skin, you say? Special equipment. Alrighty then. Can I view that in my encyclopedia to see if I need to hunt for anything in specific? Tools. Special equipment. An extremely useless tool needed to open just one unique door. What for? We don't know ourselves. This is just magic. Watch the hands. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Hop. The gameplay time was imperceptibly prolonged. 
Whoa. Ah, I forget where I go to view recipes. Ah, here it is. Come on, get in there. Uh, two electrical tape, three metal. I can... Yep. This is just prolonging the gameplay by literally just making me run back. I have all that on hand. Yep, here we are. Special equipment. Every self-respecting hero has a similar universal key to all doors. I've seen it in movies. I have a slight doubt that this will work, but even the spacesuit has no other ideas on how to open the armored door. It looks a little bit like a thermite torch or possibly just a crowbar. Which wasn't there a dev fight over crowbars? Well, regardless. Wait, wrong. Ooh. Yeah, it, it's it's a thingy. Oh, it has the paperclip. Oh, I get it. I use the paperclip as a lockpick just on the end of a stick. <laughs> I like it. Okay, open salami. Peace violation. We're what? on the right module. Judging by the signals, the surviving shuttle of the liner's crew is right ahead. But the voice in the distance is troubling me. Yeah. Stop, I violated the law. Pay the court a fine, or... This is clearly not an ordinary police robot. The repair robots have done something wrong to it. O okay. Big boss, you say? O okay. It's a zero-gravity fight? Peace fine. Peace violation! Leave the unlawful assembly! Wait a second. It's aggressive, too. I recommend that you shamefully flee. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. I think I will politely decline. Disobedience is punishable by annihilation. Well, let's see if you can manage it, big boss. Unlawful assembly. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. Reloading. Don't okay. leave your cover. Can I? Leave the unlawful assembly. So, no, I can't take down the turrets. I have to just take down him. Reloading. Stay where you are. I don't think it even noticed. We need to weaken it somehow. Hmm. If I get closer, can I start taking out the turrets? Reloading. Stay where you are. Oof. Dang it. This really is the shuttle of the liner's crew. I hope we find the friend or foe system, and that it'll take a long time for us to hack it. My processes are vibrating from the thought. <laughs> You've gotten a bit of a, a liking for the task, huh? Stay where you are. No, nothing I can do there. Okay, so... Replace blaster with slightly shittier blaster. I didn't bring any health packs. This might be a death I'm facing. Uh, okay, I see fist. Fist icon. Oh. Wrong time to do that. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. Peace violation. Shoot to kill. Hmm. Any other signs of what to do? Need to weaken it somehow, you say. How to weaken it? There, there's just a ship back there, huh? 
Okay. What's in the ship? It's blocked from the inside. Of course it is. Hmm. Weaken it somehow. An EMP maybe? No, wait, question mark. I see question mark. Okay. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. Yeah, rechargement is maybe not the best way to put whatever you're trying to Unlawful assembly. Oof. <laughs> Just book it. Peace violation. Shoot to kill. The discharger is about to fire. Discharger, you say? Act of aggression. Act of aggression. Anti-terrorist mode activated. You've thrown a paper cup at a public officer. You are under arrest. Proceeding with execution. That's oh, fair. This is not how it usually works in boss battles. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. This seems to be its weak spot. Like any irons or toasters, for example. Um. Reloading. Stay where you are. What do I do with it? Oh, okay. Just. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. Pull the plug. Power turned off. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to disable the boss. No power. Backup power activated. Aw. You will be These look like backup batteries. We need to break them to disable the police robot. Okay. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. Arrest. Arrest. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I get them all just from cover? Stay where you Be are. very lazy. I don't have much blaster. Just very carefully. Yeah, the shots wander so far, it's kind of hard to snipe with it. But apparently possible. I wonder if the beef grenades can work. Nah. Reloading. Don't leave your cover. Bit of a dull boss, that rechargement time is a bit long. Yeah. And I still very nearly died to him just because I didn't know what to do. But that's the nature of puzzle Stay bosses, I guess. Suppressors destroyed. Starting maximum performance. Uh, okay. But how can it be? I've watched hundreds of movies and video games. It always worked. Attention! Overload! I'm a machine. I'm strong. Overload. Um, it looks like it broke down. That went exactly according to my plan. Y yeah, exactly. E exactly. I, I won't. I won't contest it. It got us there in the end. And that's really all that matters. This looks suspiciously like the Normandy. Huh. Okay. We could have just done that while the whole boss fight was going, couldn't we? Hack the spaceship system? Okay. Ah, good old... We'll break into the liner's system first and see if there's any information there. Good old toilet water. Death note? If you're reading this, then I'm already dead. I tried to save everyone, but it went berserk 
and killed everyone. I can't get out. It's guarding the entrance, but you're outside so you can defeat it. Its weak spot is on the back of its head. Just throw something at it. Good luck, and don't thank me for my help. A, a heroic and needs no gr a heroic act needs no gratitude. Well, he sure did help. What a genius! Yeah, designing a back spot in a, a weak spot in the back of the head. Absolute genius. Hmm. Had some trouble with that one, did you? It looks like a thing I can pick up, but it's not letting me. Like, it's even highlighting it. It's just... Hmm. Well. Use the monitor, so, eh? So, let's start. What we need is... No. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Check the box to your left. A license plate? According to the crew's correspondence, the friend or foe system is just certain license plates on the shuttles. But if the plate is unreadable, the system freezes and doesn't attack the shuttle. So this is the multi-billion dollar protection system of the liner? The diagnostic station knew about this vulnerability and it couldn't just tell us to cover our license plate with a piece of paper? I suggest we go back and burn all its circuits. It would like I that would too much. I would be furious now if it weren't for one thing. It turns out this shuttle is fully functional. I just need some time to break into its control system. While I'm busy, you... Just don't touch anything. Better yet, try assembling a jigsaw puzzle, for example. Aha! Uh -huh. Task discovered. Right, great. Now just sit here. Hacking the system will require my maximum performance, so I'll have to turn off for a few seconds. Just don't touch or press anything. Mmm, yes, yes. Vexing. All right, I'm back. I want to inform you that. Uh, ah, 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 what the? <laughs> Let's get out of here! You I left me you alone. For only three seconds. You were just assembling a jigsaw puzzle. There was nothing dangerous there. But I, we were so. Uh, never mind. We left all our stuff in the Normandy suit. Like it's for the best. Some way, but I don't even know what to say. We'd better get back to Normandy. I hope that a closed license plate will really help us bypass the security systems. No, I'm... I can't help but ask. How? How did you do it? Did you play around with a lighter? Did you pull the wiring? Did you learn how to shoot laser beams out of your eyes? I don't understand how this is possible at all. Suit, you don't want to understand my deeper mysteries. I also mysteries. don't understand why someone would create a security system that can be easily bypassed by dirty license plates, unless the genius who infected the police robot with HAIV was the chief engineer of the liner. Actually, it would explain a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, you really don't want to get into my deeper mysteries. If this is enough to offset, to upset you, then really me at my best would just, it would be too much. By the way, there's no physical license plate on Normandy, although there is a digital one, which is usually requested at any security check. I think I can replace a couple of characters with asterisks, and let's hope the friend or foe system doesn't care what kind of plate we have on the shuttle. We could always bolt the one we got on the front. That would probably do it, too. Well, we seem to have everything like in order. Is fully prepared for another acceleration. That is, if the friend or foe system works and we are not destroyed on our approach to the accelerating station, of course. We'll be fine. And we'll be fine on the next episode. Oh. The shuttle's license plate is covered with a piece of paper. With such an unreadable license plate, you can mark on the lawn, drive drunk on the side of the road, and fly to any secret objects. Wow. Yeah, we probably need to bolt that to the front. And I probably need to sleep in that bed, yes, as I was suggesting, because my incompetence very nearly, but didn't quite kill me. Yes, we did indeed manage to get it on the first try, if just barely, by 10 points, which is probably one shot. Well, next time we'll see what's in store for us elsewhere. In the meantime, you all have yourselves a lovely day, a pleasant evening, and I'll see you next time.